Good evening and welcome to Table and Abel's Shofan Archiomi. Today we're doing Simon Kufai and Dalib 174. Din Birkas Hayayin in Vasuda. Making a bracha on wine or grape juice in the middle of the meal. Yes, you have to make a bracha. We'll talk about that. Olive. Yayin Vilkasuda, Mabarakala, Barapriya Gafen. Veena Pas Potro. Even though normally most of the things, most of the foods you eat during the meal, and most of the drinks you drink during the meal, you don't have to make a bracha on them because they're included in your meal. Uh, drinks, the purpose is to help you digest the food, right? Sometimes you might do it. We'll talk about maybe you're doing because you're thirsty or not, but what the Gemara says, what does it actually doesn't mean? It's more hush of to make a bracha on wine or grape juice because it's hush of it's Some explanations say it has its own bracha. What a is unique. All other drinks, shahakal, you make on them. What a on wine or grape juice, you make. Therefore, it makes it significant, and therefore, and maybe it's more significant than bread. And therefore, right, you have to make the it's not included in the bracha you made on the bread. Others say because it's chasha koyer bracha laatzmo in the middle of a meal because it's significant. And that's the explanation I really like because it's significant. I'll tell you why it's significant. And Ian to lean on, therefore, it's not included in your meal, and you you have to make your own bracha. Base the ayin poter komine mashkin. This has nothing to do with a meal. If you're drinking a glass of wine. And you have other liquids on the table, you don't have to make a bracha on all those other liquids. Even if you're drinking seltzer, drinking apple juice, the Borah Brach oven exempted them. Haga, feeling the bracha rishona, even not, not only for bracha chorna, even bracha rishona, you don't have to make a bracha. The Mishra mentions that if you're kove, if you sat down with your friends, your, your cronies to go and drink together in the bar, so therefore, even if the other you know, apple juice and you know, water is not on the table, they bring it to you afterwards. That's like a meal almost, and therefore you don't make a bracha even if they bring it to you afterwards. Gimel, melo el kos echad. If you only have one cup of wine, menicho alach haramazon mavarech alav. We're going to learn later on that there's an Indian to make birkas hamazon ala kos. Sometimes you're supposed to make birkas hamazon. A lot of people do this um, to make sure they have, when they bench meazimun there should be a kos of. of of wine or grape juice. So if you only have one cup, the best thing to do, the Gemara indicates, is to leave it until after the meal. We'll talk more about this when we get there. Dalit im kavalishkel sefnei amazon. Right? If you sat down to drink before the meal started, in start with the yayin shkutuch amazon. The yayin shlifnei amazon potro. Wine that you drink, we'll see this also includes alcohol, or anything that you drink, potro, it exempts what you're going to drink during the meal. The chen yayin shal kiddush, right? So another the, the practical example of this is when you make kiddush before the bread on Shabbos. Both are yayin shkutuch hamazon. It exempts any wine or grapes you can drink in the meal. Chen amav yal shulchan. Now, <clears throat> it's a bit machlokus among the post and whether the other wine that you're going to drink to the meal has to be on the meal. Let's say I make a, uh, a kiddush on grape juice, and then I bring out some champagne during the meal, right? If it was on the table, that's a machlokus. Savik bracha zakli, don't make a bracha on that in that circumstance. It's a machlok as whether you have to make a bracha or not. And a mavi al shulchan, when you're making abdallah, some people have them right after abdallah to go right into the malava malka. Poter hayayin shibazoch hamazal. You're going to make a bracha, a bori priya on the grape juice. And then you're going to wash on bread right after it. So therefore, that, and you're going to drink grape juice during the meal, that is exempted from with the with the, have, the, the glass of Avdal, the wine of Avdal. Yisham Mshein Bracha Yain Avdal Poter Yom Kain. Not the other Kodem Havdal. The Tosos argues in the rush and says no that you only it only helps to Potter by Havdal because Havdal you're not drinking it for the meal. Kids you're drinking it for the meal. Havdal you're drinking the end Shabbos. Sim and the end Shabbos. So unless you wash your hands before right Tilos Hadayim before Havdal then it wouldn't. But with the Eved Hilkach. Someone makes havdalah before the tilas yadayim. Should have kavod. Should have kavod. The havdalah doesn't exempt the wine. And therefore, when you drink the wine during the meal, you can make a bracha. But with the eved shalok kivein kach poter yain shpedachasuda. If you didn't have in mind this, so then for the eved you don't make a bracha on the wine in the meal. The tzavik bracha is the rabban on the hakel against the tzavik whether you have bracha. And therefore, you go the hakel. Hey, kol ma'ashe shosa besochasuda. Anything that what you drink in the to- in, during the meal, dialo a bracha achas. Right? Even though we said normally that if you make a bracha, you're going to drink wine or grape juice during the meal, you have to make a bracha on it. Um, you only have to make a bracha one time. If you drink more wine, it's pater to with the first bracha. 
Unless he really only had mind, I only want to drink one cup. If he had ambiguity in his mind, maybe I'll drink more. That's already included. But if there's no ambiguity, so <clears throat> if there's no ambiguity, so then um, someone's calling me, but I'm not going to take the call because I have to finish the simon. I'm supposed to fix some lights in my house. Um, so. Um, Right, so there's ambiguity in your mind, so therefore it, um, with the Eva we say it's included in your original bracha. Only when you have a mind to only drink one cup, then it's not included. You go to someone else's house, and they're giving you a lot of cups of wine. You have to make a new bracha on every one, the having nimlach, because you didn't plan on getting any more. There's a discussion we'll see later on. If you go to someone's house for a meal, Right, you're a guest. We're talking about you go to some like private event where they're giving out, you know, personal, you know, shots of whiskey, but or shots of glasses of wine, or cocktails. But if you're going to someone's house for a meal, so then we assume that al das al bal bias is going to give you a lot. You only make one bracha. If you had a wedding, someone makes a bracha on his suin. You don't know, you know, no one plans who's going to get the cup of wine that the chassan drank. Right, you have to make your own bracha because you. You weren't yotz with this bracha. Vav ain levarek achar yain shabasuda. You should make a bracha after the wine during the meal. The birka samozon po tarto. Even though you have to make a bracha on the wine itself, a bracha rishon, a bracha kaporna is exempted to birka samozon because samozon includes any food or drink that you had. Bechem b'taras yain shalifnei samozon. Even if you drank the wine before the meal, like for kiddush, a few la yellow yain b'sochem samozon. Even if you drank it before the meal and you didn't have any wine during the meal. Right, um, so if later on, when it comes to Hilkas Abdallah, we'll see what you do. If you had a cup of Abdallah, then you had a meal, does the Birkas Mozon potter it? Um, and we'll see later on what the halacha is over there, but if I kiss and, and probably by Abdallah also. The one, the uh, the Berkas Mazon exempts the one, even though it came actually before you wash for the bread. Zion, even lo yain v'shosa ma'im oshar mashke, right? Ain levarich halei. In the middle of the meal, right, you make a bracha on grape juice or wine, but any other drink you're using to accompany the meal, some iced tea, some water, apple juice, Coke, doesn't make a difference. You don't make a bracha on that. You don't make a shachal on that. The chashivi kibayim machmasuda—they're coming because of the meal to help you digest the food. Primarily, right? It's hard to eat if you don't have something to, you know, help it go down, right? Esophagus. Like I mentioned before, yain is different because it has its own bracha, right? We explained the two different explanations over there, so that's why you think a bracha. They're not important. They don't make a bracha. Let's say you're really thirsty. So obviously the reason you're drinking the water during the meal is not just to help you digest the food. He, didn't, he could have drank before the meal. He could have because he felt to have water before your meal is not the best. It's best to have food and then to, to wipe it down with water. So it turns out that... <clears throat> The, the real purpose of your drinking, even though you were very thirsty, but it's also because to help the food go down your esophagus. Some say you should make a bracha on the water during the meal. Some say even water or apple you should drink every time. Who says you're going to drink two cups of apple juice? I'm only give you one cup of apple juice. I I think I was mocked around this at one point in my life. Um, this chumrah of the Shulchan Aruch, to be able to say everyone, to drink a little bit, and he says less than a revius, all you have to make a bracha, a krono, uh, before the meal, and then wash, because that'll potter the, or you can have a little sugar or something like that, to potter the water, or any drink coffee, let's say, I remember at breakfast, they gave a coffee, we had coffee, and we are drinking coffee during the meal, so you'd have a little sugar before the meal to potter the coffee, um, just in case you have to make a bracha, the Ramah says, really technically the only possible, like the first halacha, that anything you drink during the meal, whether even if you were thirsty before, and you don't have to make a bracha on chet, um, the wine that's in the middle of the meal, everyone makes a bracha um, 
together by themselves. I feel like said, well, yeah, even if you're drinking, singing, singing together, normally one person doesn't exempt someone else. You wanna, you're both drinking champagne during the meal. Don't say, I'm saying the bracha, I'll emote you. We're concerned they're going to be startled to say amen, right? And here in the bracha, and then they're going to open their mouth when you talk, right? It opens up the epiglottis, and you might go down the trachea, so it's dangerous. The says, if you say sabri, sabri means to wait or be patient, you're letting people know you make a bracha, so then they're going to stop eating, there, will not be, there won't be any more danger. Um, so echad mubarak hakul, one person can make a bracha for everybody. Okay, no, again, that's the minog. Like we said, really, for bread and wine, you're supposed to exempt other people. V'yomer sabri rabos. I wrote to lomer sober matam la tzis bracha. Sabri it means the way. It also means do you wish to be yotzei my bracha? V'lo yomer bershus rabos. Okay, chol makom shavarak and al yaim mishum bracha al yaim. We talk about suda. Ena woman bershus el sabri matam shnez bar. Because sabri, when you say bershus, I'm asking your permission, right? It doesn't sound. Um, that you're asking them to be yotze. When you say sabri, right, so vrim, you want to be yotze like bracha, so they're all going to pay attention. They're not going to eat. If you say bershus, I'm just asking your permission. People will say, okay, yeah, my permission. They'll continue to eat. I'll be a sakana. So really, that's all up. If you want to make a bracha and be mostly everybody, say sabri. And that's the minag. That's the reason a lot of times it, it took over the minag whenever you make kiddush and things like that. Or Abdali you say sabri, right, because based on this halakha, even though it really just not applicable in those things, cases, that's the conclusion of today's share. Stay tuned for Ian Talina, where I discuss more the difference between wine during the meal and apple juice during the meal. What does it mean? Because it's Chashab, Kaveya Brachal Ian Talina coming up next.